Hi, and welcome to the battery shop. Today, we're going to be replacing the battery in a 2014 Honda CRV. The battery is right here in the front, and so it should be a pretty easy installation. But we always recommend that you look up the manufacturer instructions to make sure that you are safely replacing the battery and you have all the tools that you need. Let's get started. Today, we are going to be using a memory saver to keep the computer's memories alive while we replace the battery. Using gloves and safety glasses, the first step will be to remove the negative battery cable from the negative battery terminal. You're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench. Next, we're going to remove the connector from the current sensor. In the next step, we're going to remove the wire harnesses from the battery hold down bracket. Now we can remove the positive battery cable from the positive battery terminal. For that, we're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench again. It's a good idea to protect the terminal from touching any metal as we work to remove the battery. The next step will be to remove the battery hold down bracket and we'll be using our deep well 10 millimeter wrench. and remove the battery hold down bracket. Next, we're going to remove the plastic battery protector. Now, we'll remove that old battery. and install the replacement battery. And now we can reinstall the plastic protective shield. and the battery hold down bracket. And retighten the fasteners. And now we can reattach the wire harnesses. The next step will be to clean the battery terminals. And the battery cable clamps. And now we'll reconnect the positive battery cable to the positive battery terminal. And tighten the fastener. And reinstall the negative battery cable to the negative battery terminal and tighten the fastener.
Now we can reattach the current sensor connector. Many late model vehicles have to have their replacement battery registered or coded with the battery management system of the vehicle. Refer to the service and repair manual for your vehicle to see if this needs to be done. If so, check out our videos on how to do this. The links to them are in this video's description below.